Bass players, how many tunes do you know? Do you recognize this one? How about this one? Wait a second. This one's one of my all-time favorites. This is just an example to show you that knowing the chord changes doesn't necessarily mean knowing the tune. You have to know the melody. In the end, knowing a tune doesn't really mean knowing this, but more this. To prove my point, if we took any tune and we changed the key, or the tempo, or we even reharmonized it, you would just have a different version of that same tune. Now if we took a standard set of chord changes from a tune, and we changed the melody or wrote a whole new melody over those changes, what you would have is a completely different song. The melody is the heart and soul of a song, and it should always be the first place you start when you're trying to learn a new tune. Learning and knowing melodies can immediately help you in a few different ways. Number one, become a better accompanist. Young musicians, especially bassists, have a habit of locking in on what you're playing and maybe what you're gonna play in the next bar instead of listening to what's being played on top of your bass line. Knowing melodies allows us to hear the big picture of music and be better at supporting that melody instead of just playing something hip. Number two, become a better soloist. There's a reason all those horn players and pianists play better solos than us. They deal with melody on every tune. They know countless melodies that should inform their solos and give them kind of a roadmap to play over the tune. Ever struggle with playing over a set of changes? The first thing you should do is learn the melody. It's like a blueprint of how to solo on the tune, or at least a primer. Number three, broaden your ears. The ear training part of learning melodies goes without saying. You're playing a variety of notes over a chord and often notes you would never associate with a bass line underneath it. Learning melodies will give you a more top-down view of playing music and it will help you learn many more tunes much faster. Here's a little practice method I picked up from Ray Brown. Take a tune that you can play the changes to pretty easily, but could use some work on the melody. Using just half notes, play through the tune while singing the melody. You're kind of accompanying yourself here. Da, da. Right away, you're doing a few different things. You're audiating a melody. You're 
also simplifying your accompaniment so you can support the melody that you're singing. And you're also hearing how the most important part of the tune, the melody, relates to the bass line, which is what we play. Now, I'm not trying to get any gigs by doing this. As you can clearly hear, I'm not a singer. But what this exercise does is that it works a set of very specific musical muscles to train a bunch of skills at once. And if I do this enough, in the end, I should probably know a tune a lot better. I should be a lot more comfortable playing over that tune. And in the process, I will have even developed my ear a little bit. So where do we go from here? Play melodies. Play melodies as often as possible, and whatever melodies. Folk songs, nursery rhymes, Christmas carols, TV theme songs, whatever melody you hear. Challenge yourself to play melodies every single day. You'll start playing more melodic bass lines. You'll start playing better solos. And most importantly, you'll start hearing the music a lot easier and more quickly than you ever had before. Thanks for tuning in. I'd really appreciate it if you found the video useful at all, if you'd click that like button, and if you want more jazz bass centric content coming at you every single week as fast as I can prepare it, then please don't hesitate to subscribe. Till next time, take care and please love your neighbor.